Spotify has recently drastically expanded the scope of their platform, which was originally just music and then just music and podcasts, in ways that are very exciting, but also a little bit concerning. And in this video, I want to talk about the two different things they've recently done, a lawsuit related to those, and then my opinion about what they might be trying to do. So I want to stress that this is a mixture of news and opinion. And I'm kind of just extrapolating and guessing. I don't want to start a bunch of people coming to Spotify with their pitchforks yet, but I, I also want to talk about it because it's interesting and, and people were asking me what my opinion was about this. So the most recent news was that Spotify and, and Cineverse, which is a company I never heard of until this, have started this new uh, partnership where they're going to be publishing their video content onto the platform. And Cineverse has content such as Crime Hunters, Dog Whisperer, Comedy Dynamics, Entrepreneur TV, uh, and a bunch of other stuff. They have like movies and TV shows and they've licensed them to other platforms and they're going to be adding them to Spotify. So from one perspective, Spotify is adding more content, which is going to pull more people to the platform potentially, which could lead to those people streaming more music on the platform because if the content's right there next to it, that could be a good thing for us, right? More people spending more time on the platform. On the flip side, they could do the opposite thing. When people are going to consume music, they see this video thing they want to watch and then they go check it out. It also could be that people just hate the Spotify video thing, right? A lot of platforms have tried to change and add features over the years and sometimes people just learn that people go to this platform for this thing, stay in your lane. If you try to expand, it's not going to work. So we will see, right? We don't know. But it definitely could shake things up. It could make things better and it could make things worse. But this kind of rang eerily similar to something Spotify did a little bit more recently, which is adding audiobooks to the platform. And audiobooks seemed like a great idea to an extent. At first, they were just a paid thing. You could go into Spotify and you can buy audiobooks. Here it is in Spotify. There are information about audiobooks. Originally, it was just buying them, but then they included a limited amount of audiobook streaming you could do for, I don't know if it was everything or just select titles but everyone gets like a certain amount of audiobook streaming per month, which still sounded great. Pull more people to the platform, give them more bang for their buck, as Spotify has raised their prices a little bit over the last few years. They've raised it twice, I think, in the last year. And that sounded great. And then we heard this news that they were being sued by the Songwriters Association. I don't know the exact details of this, but I'll just go to this Rolling Stone article and we'll check it out. Apparently the Rolling Stone site has a subscription thing, so we're not gonna look at that. We're gonna look at The Guardian instead because it's free. So th this article talks about how it's changing royalties. And essentially they're saying that because of the way Spotify bundled things under the US system, the bundle classification allowed Spotify to pay a discounted rate to songwriters as books and music are under the same subscription price. It suggested payments to songwriters could drop by $150 million over the next year. So they were able to use the fact that they're bundling music with audiobooks as a way to pay songwriters less. Now, before you panic, the songwriting royalties are not what you get paid through your distributor. They're generally the royal, at least, and I'm not, the, I'm not a master of royalties. The music royalty system is like obnoxiously complicated. I believe these are the royalties you would collect through your like mechanical licensing collection. I don't know if any PRO royalties are in there at all, but I'm pretty sure at least it's the mechanical royalties you collect in the back end. So it's a very small sliver, right? It's, it's way smaller than what you collect through like your DistroKid or your CD Baby, etc. And another thing to factor in that it's only $150 million, which sounds like a lot until you remember that Spotify breaks in 13 billion a year and they pay out like of that 13 million, nine or 10 billion a year goes directly to rights holders. So out of like 9 billion that goes to artists, 150 million is essentially nothing. But still, it's still a drop in pay and it's specifically to songwriters uh, who, you know, are, are paid very differently from artists, right? They're, they're paid on these back end royalties. They don't have touring income. They don't have social media sites all the time. Sometimes the artist is the songwriter, but in a lot of very popular music, the songwriter is not the artist. The songwriter is someone that writes amazing songs and basically sells them or, or gives artists permission to use their masterpieces. <laughs> so it's kind of just a sting. And so they're being sued because of this, uh, because they're, they're basically claiming Spotify used this as an excuse to, to cheat the system and justify paying artists less because they're bundling audiobooks, which is something that no one really asked for. Um, so they're shuffling things out. But this this really rings eerily similar to that. Like, is Spotify bundling this stuff on their site to further justify paying less to artists? Now, obviously, they have to license this content, 
which costs money. But I have a feeling that the way they're licensing it is they're giving, it's not like a 70% of the money they bring in goes to the rights holder. It's either a flat rate or maybe there's some monthly cost associated with it, but maybe it's a really good deal for them. So paying some money for this to be able to justify as a bundle service to pay artists and songwriters less on the back end, perhaps. I'm not 100% positive, but it sounds very similar to the audiobook thing. And remember when podcasts were coming to the platform, there was a whole stink around that too. They were investing all this money into the podcasting. They were pushing podcasts on the homepage, which basically meant if you're listening to podcasts instead of music, podcasts don't cost anything, right? Spotify doesn't pay podcasters except to sign them to their platform. Like I get, I don't know, I've had thousands or tens of thousands of podcast plays on Spotify. Spotify pays me $0 for that. No, almost, almost no podcasters on Spotify or Apple or whatever get paid anything for the play. So that allows Spotify to pay out less money because users are spending more time playing that instead of the music. And I don't know if it's the same with these films, but it very well could be. If people are spending more time on the platform consuming media, like film media or TV shows or movies, they're spending less time on music and therefore they don't have to pay out royalties every single time the streams come in. Now I wanna stress, I'm not a conspiracy theory guy, but this does sound a little conspiratorial and I acknowledge that. But some people were asking me what my opinion of this was. And that's how I feel. I might be wrong. I'm not accusing them of anything. I just think we should keep our eyes peeled for what Spotify does and what ends up happening. And assuming there'll be some, if they do anything shady, there'll be some of these organizations jumping into the FTC and stuff to try to, to uh, make it right. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below what you think about this. If you have more information on this, it's kind of sketchy to me that Spotify didn't really announce this. They only did like a, a like a PR newswire type thing. They don't have a page on their website about it. Uh, it's only been two weeks at the time of filming this, but still it's a little sketchy. So let me know in the comments what you think or if you have any more information. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.